good morning and good evening to grafton day everyone here uh, i'm going to explain our uh, new solution on data duck so a uh, uh, automation uh, observability for data duck i'm going to explain this one on behalf of our solution teams okay so let's get started uh, with our solutions so as you already know the splunk and dynatrace we have released uh, for our cloud automation. So on that path, we have a target for traded up. So we are right now we have completed the solution is right now is available for the user to use. Okay. So next, uh, uh, as you know, the cloud automation is uh, enabling this uh, metrics and blocks similar to uh, what we have done in a Splunk and uh, Dynatrace. So by using the same data, we have constructed uh, our Datadog dashboard. So the dashboards are similar to, or uh, the da dashboard informations are similar to uh, uh, the previous uh, uh, dashboards, but the user experience will uh, be different. Okay. Next, uh, why uh, HWA absolute for Datadog? So here, uh, the similar like uh, Dynatrace and uh, Splunk, uh, we are covering these jobs and uh, and workstations, user activities, uh, infrastructure details, and the alerts. Uh, alerts. So, what are the features we have already covered? So, we covered this new solutions as well. Okay. So, uh, each and every dashboards uh, we have constructed is based on the persona perspective. Okay. So, as you uh, this this information is uh, similar to the previous Splunk and Dynatrace. As you know, this jobs KP. So. So it's built for a specific uh, application and operator. So just keep in mind these uh, uh, personal users uh, while I'll be explaining the dashboards, each and every dashboards. So next is about uh, our uh, uh, navigation from our overall dashboard. This is our, our complete uh, application uh, da dashboards navigation. So as you see, uh, so each panel uh, jobs like KPS panel have an hyperlink yeah, below this. OK, when you take this hyperlink, so I will be open the new tab. So that I will get this detailed view of each and every dashboard. Next uh, here, I'm just going to explain uh, how we uh, how this architecture of this data dog solution. OK, so as you see, this is the uh, workflow automation. OK, so they are exposing two things. One is open metrics, next one is application logs. Okay. So then initially uh, this would be uh, installed on our automation as you know, install on Kubernetes flavor. So there we uh, in the infrastructure we install daemon set and data log cluster. Okay. So the daemon set it will collect the logs uh, automatically discovers the logs from the workflow automation and send it to the data cluster agent. So this act as a proxy and send it back to uh, our Datadog SaaS, OK? And uh, the Datadog cluster agent, similarly, what it will do, another extra operation like, uh, so as I said, uh, open metrics, uh, our cloud is exposed. So uh, uh, unlike from Splunk and uh, Dynat Race, we write an exporter script, so that will run periodically, and uh, that will export this uh, uh, metrics. But uh, so uh, since uh, Datadog is a lightweight, it's accepting the open metric, so only we, we we just configure only configuration, just a configuration is needed. So then, uh, data cluster agent is directly collecting these open metrics and then send it to this uh, data uh, SAS. So right now we have uh, two kind of data. One is metrics that's collected uh, via uh, daemon set. Another is uh, uh, metrics collected via cluster agent and uh, logs collected via uh, daemon set by using these two kind of data two uh, different data so we have constructed our out of box dashboards okay so this is the overall architecture of our application okay next uh, yeah right now it's a uh, time for demo okay i'll be uh, navigating to our dashboard okay. so this is uh, our enterprise uh, data doc. so once you get this access for uh, uh, our permission for Datadog SaaS. Okay, okay. you will be landing on uh, a page of this enterprise edition. So from there you will navigate to dashboard from here, dashboard list. So when you select, so you kind of able to see the custom dashboards and the other integrations. So that's belong to Datadog uh, dashboards as well from this page. Okay, here I have highlighted our 
out of box dashboards once you installed our solutions uh, you'll get this dashboard uh, uh, in here okay so here uh, overview dashboard is there so uh, i can able to uh, go to the overview dashboard from here i can able to uh, drill down to each and every dashboard okay that's an uh, one possibility otherwise if i want to directly go into this jobs and jobs in so i don't need to go into the or dashboard and navigate there i can right click and open a new tab so so that will be a appear for me actually so right now i'll be uh, navigating through via our uh, uh hw observability dashboard okay and i click this one and able to hide this and get this detail view <coughs> so as you see this is our uh, main overview dashboard okay there is no data right uh, let's see past owner uh, we don't have any data okay right now so this is a time frame uh, i can able to adjust uh, to see historical data also let's say i just put to one month yeah okay as you see the data is are appearing right now okay similarly uh to uh, do splunk and uh splunk and the yeah, dyna trace so this is our overview dashboard so this has a list of each and every dashboards okay so you get able to see uh, jobs and jobs in kp uh, the, the same small list so when i click this uh, hyperlink this is a button with the particular dashboard let's see i can able to uh, uh, open the new tab okay so two ways uh go to dashboard list from there i can open so otherwise i can come here and drill down from here okay so right now i have opened the jobs and jobs in dashboard okay let's see uh, yeah so this is a jobs and jobs thing right now i don't have any data live data so i'll be um, switching the time frame so if, if it is uh, connected and uh, getting the live data so we can set the time range to instead of four weeks we can set to one one, one days so so as you already aware of uh, what is uh, jobs and jobs team okay so workload automation will be exposing uh, creating the uh, workload automation we are creating jobs and jobs team right so that will be uh, uh, based on the condition that will be uh, moving from high risk to no risks okay so we capture those data and then we convert it into component so from so by using this dashboard so you can able to see what is the high risk jobs and the related job streams also okay and uh, what is the what are the daily execution of the jobs so how much uh, jobs are failing or waiting status as uh, this kind of information and uh, totally abandoned jobs so uh, if the jobs is not uh, not going as like as a normal job so be able to find the abandoned job so by using this dashboard okay. so uh, as i said uh, each dashboard is uh, in the mind of persona so mostly application uh a developer operator use this uh, uh jobs and jobs and dashboard okay i'll be navigating next dashboard so i'll be open every dashboard right now okay next i'm going to explain kps the time set for owner which to different times to get uh, some presentable data yeah so uh KPIs and workstation uh, dashboard. It's uh, as you know this uh, uh, the uh, the workload automation is a uh, uh, jobs and jobs team uh, that will be uh, pushed into particular workstation. So the particular workstation and uh, and uh, and and the workstation might be available sometimes or not uh, available or uh, different times. So and uh, those kind of add. Uh, details uh, we can able to track from this dashboard and what are the current uh, db status also uh, we can able to track from this dashboard and uh, so totally uh, how many jobs are available and their status also so you know, we could be tracking from here itself okay. next i'll be uh, moving to auditing dashboard okay. no data so i'll be switching to different time zone so uh, auditing dashboard is nothing but if uh, if uh, the user is doing some uh, activity in uh, workload automation okay. so that will be captured uh, in this dashboard okay. so as like uh, workload automation user is pushing some jobs to plan and database 
OK, so the, the user uh, user means uh, mostly this uh, auditing dashboard is used by uh, a cloud admin. So the cloud admin will be landing on this page and uh, see you how, what kind of action uh, or uh, DB, DB action is the user is performed. So they can able to uh, figure out where these components and uh, uh, they can able to drill down to the particular rocks. So that's also possible here from here. So so they can able to see uh, the detailed view of the user activity from this page. Next will be in a infrastructure dashboard. So uh, infrastructure dashboard is uh, it's a reflection of uh, our our workload automation uh, workload automation environment. So if the workload automation is installed on a Kubernetes flavor or something else, so so, uh, so the details will be all the details will be collected on this page. So if some parts are uh, let's say if some parts are failed uh, in this uh, workload automation or containers are restarted. And if some deployment is not going well as per the plan, so that will be uh, everything will be captured here. Oh, OK, let's uh, let's see. Let's take some example like uh, so that's uh, workload automation is environment, particular environment. Uh, and uh, so from the environment, you will see some parts are in um, critical, uh, critical name, uh, critical. OK, so I can able to track here. And uh, so on uh, this uh, memory CPU usage and everything is going well right now. And uh, there is no container restart. I have encounter uh, encounter right now. OK, so these kind of uh, 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 infrastructure related uh, uh, information I can pass over here. Uh, I'll be navigating to main over dashboard. So this uh, the final one will be in our monitoring. OK, so in Dynatrace in data concept, uh, the alerts is considered to be a monitor. OK, so we have created an out of box monitor. So when it crosses a threshold, the alerts will be we can able, the alerts will be triggered and uh, OK, and this alerts uh, alerts will be triggered and the, the particular config mail address also will be notified from here. Okay. So we can able to see a drilled out view from uh, the, what, what happened on the particular alert and we can able to view the detailed uh, uh, root cause. OK, and uh, uh, this is about uh, our dashboards, OK? And uh, as you see, uh, mm, uh, uh, this uh, uh, these components available uh, right now. So the UX, uh, so for each and every user, so if uh, they can able to add a new component. So if they want to modify a component, that's also possible. So this is an data uh, flexibility. Let's take uh, an example and I'll just give it you. So let's say so this is an uh, auditing uh, total audit or it's paid time. So I, I, I don't like this pie chart. Uh, what I can do so I can able to switch to, switch to some different uh, component like a tree map and save it. So I, this is this is an own data data future. This is available so for the user. OK. Uh, yeah, so this is about uh, our uh, solution. Yeah. So. If you have any queries, uh, can tell.